March has roared in and is rampaging through the state with wind-driven sleet, snow, and storm surges, snarling traffic and transit, and wreaking havoc on power lines. And it's not over yet. And meteorologist John Cefeli has been tracking it. John? That's right, Mary Alice. March certainly in like a lion with this nor'easter, which has brought a broad array of weather impacts to New Jersey over the past 12 to 24 hours. We've seen coastal flooding. We've seen very, very strong winds, flooding rains, and yes, some snow as well. In fact, snow totals have topped a foot of snow in the highest elevations. High point in Sussex County, that's about as high as it gets, and they saw over a foot of snow, almost 14 inches, and these numbers still yet may creep up, as we do still have some accu accumulating snow over the next couple of hours. The wind gusts have been the other side of the story here. Dennisville in Cape May, that reporter that brought in this report of almost a hurricane force gust said that it ripped shingles off of their roof. Atlantic City Airport, 61 miles an hour. Newark Liberty, not far behind. This is probably the most impressive interior wind field event that I've seen from a non-tropical low. And where is our low exactly right now? Well, the national satellite will show us that our low pressure center is slowly sliding east. We're watching the sun set as the globe turns here. Beautiful storm, broad circulation around it, 975 millibars, very, very powerful. As we zoom in a little bit closer, we look at the regional satellite. Now we're here back in New Jersey in the upper mid-Atlantic. We see plenty of cloud cover still yet to go. The cloud deck all the way back into central Pennsylvania. And underneath the satellite, we have the radar. And the radar shows that we have plenty of rain and snow yet to go. At this point, it's really concentrated into bands. You have one over western New Jersey down towards Philadelphia. You have another strong band over western Long Island stretching through the New York metro down into coastal New Jersey. And maybe another one starting to form that's going to press down into western New Jersey over the next couple of hours. I think the, the rain and snow finally tapers off around 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, the tides are going to be the biggest concern going forward at this point. We saw major and moderate flooding up and down the coast on Friday morning. The next four high tide cycles will only continue that theme. And in fact, it may exacerbate those problems as the water levels may be even higher than we saw Friday morning. This is from Manasquan, and we do inch towards major flooding both Saturday morning and Saturday evening. And that story is really the same up and down the coast. So in summary, Precipitation ends tonight, anytime from just about now through 9, 10 o'clock um, over the next several hours. Coastal flooding then becomes the major story, the other one being power outages. Winds right now are peaking across the state. 40, 50, 60 mile an hour gusts will continue. The ground is soggy. The trees are heavy. They're coming down. They're taking out lines. We have over 200,000 people without power right now in New Jersey, and that could continue overnight tonight as well. The weekend, if you're away from the water and you have power, looks pretty nice. Mary Alice, back to you.